After four years of continuous traveling to nature's places around the world, we had to return to Belgium to get vaccinated for COVID. You know, Belgium, that small little country in the center of Europe. While we are here, we decided to travel around our own country and see what it has to offer for the nature's traveler. Good morning! Good morning! Of goedemorgen! <laughs> In our last video, we showed you all around the first nature destination that we visit in Belgium, yeah. Athena Helios. <laughs> and one of the things we like so much about this place is that it's it's so green. Even though we are less than 20 kilometers from downtown Brussels, the capital of Belgium. And only 10 kilometers yeah. from the airport. Yeah, from 10 the kilometers from the, airport. from the airport. <laughs> Basically, if you have a layover in Brussels, it's easier to come here than to go to downtown Brussels to a hotel. And it's for sure cheaper. And it's probably cheaper. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can be naked. Yes! <laughs> And there is another capital very close to here, at yeah. only 8 kilometers, is Leuven. It's a small city, but it's the capital of what is most famous of all in Belgium. What is it, chocolate? It's beer. Leuven and beer are very much connected. The city is home to the brewery of Stella Artois, which is the most famous Belgian beer all over the world, I guess. Yeah. And an official motto of the city is Venice has water, Leuven too, but we make beer out of it. It's and better water. It's better water. <laughs> and the University of Leuven even has a department called the Institute for Beer Research. Ooh la la. So if you don't know what to study at next year, maybe that's a, a good idea. For us, it's, I think it's a little bit too early to start drinking, so we'll have a walk around the city before... Is it too early? Yeah, probably. Yeah? It's gonna be a long day. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a walk around the city yeah. and then we will taste some beers. I hope this is not the water that they use to make the Stella Cloud beer. <laughs> Trusts in the city center of Leuven. <laughs> you can see it's kind of muddy here. That is actually the purpose. It's a project to bring the river back to the people and they let it flood when, it's, uh, when there's a lot of rain. We had hoped to visit one of the many breweries here in Leuven, but because of COVID everything is still cancelled. So we're just gonna skip that process and go straight to the tasting. What do you think, Nick? Okay. <laughs> Which one it's gonna be? I'm not sure yet. Um, I am sure yet. Yes? Which push, one? Push for eight. Your favorite. Belgian beer is considered UNESCO heritage and even this bar is UNESCO heritage so it's a great place to try a beer and we're gonna start with one of my favorite beers Rochefort number eight. But what are you doing? I am going for a 0.0% alcohol beer because I am still in detox phase because of Italy. I was drinking too much, I was eating too much in Italy so I'm gonna have a 0 0.01. That's great. I tried the alcoholic beers, you try the non alcoholic ones. Hey. And you can drive. <laughs> Delicious. But I already knew that. How does the alcohol beer, free beer taste? Pretty good to be honest. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, it's true. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> Here is an expert tip 
to pour a dark Belgian beer. When it's almost finished in the bottle, you do like this for the best taste. Before we continue exploring the wonders of the Belgian beers, we need to get our stomachs filled a little bit. So we are going to the most typical kind of Belgian restaurant there is. These places are called Friture, which is actually the same word in Flemish and in French. And it's where they sell French fries, which are not French, they are Belgian. This is 100% typical Belgian food. It's French fries with stoverij. It's a stew. Which, with beer. Uh, with beer. To yeah. stick with the theme of the day. <laughs> and mayonnaise. It's my favorite dish in Belgium. And typical Belgian, we have to accompany this with a beer. Yes. And this is Talartois, the beer from Leuven. This place is called in Flemish in den Engel, which literally translated in English means inside of the angel. I know it sounds weird, but it makes perfect sense in Flemish. And that's not the only bar fun fact that we have. Nick, tell us something. This bar has existed since 1395. That's really, it's not a joke, 1395. It's a really, really old bar. And it's the bar where the stone cutters used to come who were building the town hall. And because of the mayor, the mayor was paying their expenses, you can still find their receipts in the archive of the town hall. The town paid for their expenses, for their beers. Towns don't do that anymore. Too I, bad they yeah, don't do that anymore. It's a shame. Or may, maybe they do, I just don't know about it. <laughs> if you know the town that does pay for your beers, leave it in the comments. Okay, enough history lessons. It's time for another beer tasting. I'm gonna have a Starlight 0.0, .0 alcohol and you, Nick? I'm gonna have a Geus, mm. and here's a beer lesson. <laughs> Another one. Geus is a typical beer from the Brussels region, and this region is the only region in the world where they can make this kind of beer. It's a kind of a sour beer, and you have to really like it, but I love it a lot. Yeah. Cheers! Cheers! Finished! What's next? Um, another beer tasting? Uh, I'm sure that we can find another interesting bar here. <laughs> there are all kinds of bars in Belgium. Where we used to live, there used to be a bar that, where you could also get a haircut. And here in Leuven, there is a bar where you can also do your laundry. Even if you don't want to go to a bar, there are always the beer shops. Choose. Difficult. I don't know. <laughs> Café Belge. Café Belge. The reason why we picked Café Belge from all the other bars is because they have a list of 200 different Belgian beers. Which may sound like a lot, but if you know that Belgium has more than 3,000 different kinds of beer, it's not even 10%. Nevertheless, I was searching for this beer. 
Orval. It's one of my favorites, but it became hugely popular during the last years and it's very difficult to get nowadays. So, but I thought it was my best guess and here it is, Orval. And I'm sticking with non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> Cheers! Something that's probably important to mention as well is that Belgian beers are pretty strong. These are nothing like the 3% but lights that you find anywhere else in the world. The Orval was 6%, the Geus was 6% and the Rochefort was 9%. So be careful with them. And before we get too drunk... Be uh, before you get too drunk, <laughs> yeah. mine okay. was 0.0%. Before I get too drunk, Maybe it's, better that, maybe it's better that we return to Athena and have another beer there. Vianney, qu'est-ce que c'est ta bière préférée ici? Duvel. Duvel, ah, très bien choix. Et Melody, what is your favorite beer? Desperados, with a stuk limon. Desperados with limon. Yeah. Difficult choice, but please give me a duvel. <laughs> I'm really happy that VNA chose Duvel because once again it's one of my favorite Belgian beers. I think all of the beers are your yeah, favorites. But I have more favorite than other favorites. <laughs> <laughs> but what's up with you? You bought Leffe? Yes, Leffe 0.0. <laughs> I really like Leffe and Leffe 00 is quite nice as well. But I have to say, after my experience of today and tasting four, am I drunk now? Four 0.0, .0 <laughs> beers. You sure it was 0.0? .0? <laughs> I have to say that I like the non-alcoholic beers of Belgium. They are a little bit sweeter than normal uh, ones, but yeah, they're pretty good. We still have to try these three beers that were recommended to us by the guy from the shop but I'm a little bit afraid that not much will come out of my mouth after that. You can have the 0.0. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna try the other ones. <laughs> so we're gonna keep this video with this. Shortly summarized, Leuven is a great city. Absolutely. We had been there before but I don't really remember it. That It's such a cool place and it's beautiful, it's nice, it's nice people and so much beer <laughs> and good french fries and good french fries, Belgian french fries. <laughs> so it's very well recommended it's only eight kilometers from athena helios yeah. so why not <laughs> in our next videos we will explore other parts of belgium so if you don't want to miss it you know what to do subscribe to our channel put on your notification if you like this video please give us a big thumbs up um, if you have something to say you can absolutely leave it in the comments <laughs> and other than that thank you for watching and we see you in our next video bye bye, bye.